Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I hope um, I, I have I have ch uh, changed my equipment a little bit. I changed to to headset now, and uh, I I placed also a glass of water next to me. So I hope this presentation will will uh, be less boring than that this morning. Uh, only uh, with uh, regard to my voice. Um, okay. We are uh, giving a talk of the SEN workshop agreement and uh, because um, Thomas was asking for a, for an, 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 an presentation about how to get to standardization. Um, so the, the CWA is, 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 is just a first step in that direction and, and, and I'm happy that Christian uh, uh, will also uh, take over a, a part of this talk which he has has prepared for that to, to, to give an, 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 an introduction to, to how to get from, from the CVA um, uh, a step further uh, uh, to, to, to standardization. Um, so I saw the, the, the um, lecture you, you can expect now is, is not only um, the, 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 the chapters and introduction to what's, what's in the CWA, it's also a short introduction on how to get a CWA. And uh, uh, this is also um, the section we will we will start with. So, if we are going to to have a CWA, um, it is it is in, in the first instance uh, you have to 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 discuss the criteria. If if this is this the right instrument um, for for delivering impact to the community, and and uh, if you if you are going to the um, uh, Sen Senilec uh, webpage. There is there is um, a guideline number 29, a rapid way to standardization, and there are some criteria listed, um, um, uh, and you can see if a CWA will apply to you. And um, because of it is designed with a focus and uh, on, on research and innovation outcomes. So it is it is um, a good instrument for for European projects, um, and it is not it, it is not a full standard, and and uh, of course it shall not conflict with any existing European standard. Yeah. So and um, in in principle it is an instrument, but for for um, really uh, rapid uh, development of, of of such an agreement. Um, um, we have taken some time in this project uh, due to um, the fact that that most of, of uh, research and innovation projects will produce their results later on and not from the beginning. So we, we had a long time um, where we where we um, were joining the entire project and all the um, 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 stakeholders from the project and and partners from the project were involved and so um, by the step-by-step -step, uh, development of a project we were able to develop the CWL as, as well. Um, the, um, this uh, uh, is, is an deliverable which is um, um, where, where participants of a working group, uh, the, this is the Senilec workshop, uh, have to uh, uh, agree to um, in the in the in the end to to publish it, and um, uh, the stakeholder involvement here, the direct involvement, is limited to those directly interested in the subject. Okay, um, the technical bodies of 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 uh, uh, Sen elect are are uh, continuously informed about uh, that uh, the ongoing CWAs, and so they can also uh, be involved in that progress if uh, process if that is um, um, if, if if this is necessary. Okay, and uh, yeah, and the last here is once published, if a topic shows. To be a market relevant, um, the CWA can uh, can be sourced for a, a future standard as cost. Um, to introduce you to the process of um, um, uh, uh, developing a CWA, there is in in this guide 29 a, a nice picture. Um, this illustrates it very well, and I decided to take that one. Um, and skip the one we normally 
uh, what are we used in the in the workshop to introduce to the process because it is much more straightforward and have uh, is, is illustrating all these steps a little bit um, clearer than what we used before and so I adopted it from from the guide um, you see you see these uh, um, these seven steps uh, to to CWA finalization um, the people the connected people here in the in the uh, in the bottom area um, is is an, an, an symbol for interaction uh, of a community of a stakeholders with uh, with a CWA de uh, development and so in, in certain steps you you have to ask the community or you have to ask certain stake stakeholders um, for uh, um, for getting the work the work done and it it, it must be justified by by them so um using this 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 scheme um i'm i'm going now through the the process and the the, the first step is of course the, the formal submission so and uh, first instance is uh, yeah you need you need a, a a secretariat for your for your workshop and this is uh, in principle a sen senelec national member um, and uh, we have asked several national uh, members of San Senilec and, and, uh, and finally the decision was uh, was going to Dean and uh, Dr. Christian Grunewald and uh, as I said he's here and he will introduce it as to what's going afterwards. So and um, yeah b before starting you need to prepare a proposal form and this proposal has to be submitted to the director standardization of the Sen Senilec Management Center, and and there it is uh, then then um, uh, uh, justified um, for uh, uh, for the next steps, and then the next step is the project plan development. <clears throat> this uh, this project plan is, is absolutely mandatory um, of a CWA, and has to be continuously up dated throughout the workshop project and so you will see the, the the section so the first section is is, is the status of a, of, of a document um, or of a CWA um, the, then the background of the workshop the proposers and also I mentioned the workshop participant the scope and objectives the program its structure the resources which are required and uh, um, if there are related activities and liaisons have to be mentioned and and the contact points uh, for 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 uh, any any questions um, have to be documented um, so with this work plan you go through um, a, a first open commenting um, period for the for the draft project project plan this is um, a 30 day commenting period um, by stakeholders in 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 that time also stakeholders could declare their intention to participate in the workshop as well and also uh, uh, the, the technical bodies of sen um are or were informed of a launch of this uh, sen senilec uh, workshop so and and after this this commenting phase uh, and in several maybe necessary adjustments to the um, um, to the project plan then uh, the kickoff meeting uh, um, uh, has to be held and in our case uh, of of uh, the CWA of volatile it has uh, taken place in Brussels in 2018 and uh, the first uh, the, or the main topics to be discussed was the first the approval of a proposed project plan and its commands from the from the public um, commenting phase uh, and then the appointment of a chairman and the secretary of uh, of of ten um, have to be uh, uh, done and um, the chairman of of the CWA is my colleague Sebastian Hiesel and 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 Philip Welge um, has elected as vice chairperson. Um, you have uh, uh, heard his talk before. Yeah, and Dean was was uh, elected as the secretary of the CWA. Yeah, and then the formal things are done, and now work started. Um, so we had uh, uh, six meetings um with uh, about 25 registered participants they are mentioned here and in this phase took uh, from september 2018 to january 
2020. So, so um, is, it was uh, by evolving the project also the um, the, um, the the CWA uh, was evolved by by its, its participants. And and uh, the final meeting was was at the end of January 2020. And uh, and, and then an an optional open uh, commenting phase started. Um, um we, we decided to to have this public com commenting and and so um the draft was was published and and um the 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 bodies of of uh, Sen -Sen elect were informed that this is um uh, uh, that this cwa is open for for commenting and um so um after this time we got only just just one comment um and had uh, an, an web conference in may um 25th uh, on discussing the comment and and uh, um we had an agreement of integration of a comment and and therefore um the the cwa um was then confirmed as as accomplished and uh, yeah, and Ryan Formal, uh, from Formal Point, the Send Workshop has completed its project plan and decided to disband itself. So um, the CWA status finally it goes from um, the, or the final after finalization it was finally prepared from 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 the secretary and sent to to the um, management center of of Send Senelect. And uh, the, um, the status of the CWA this was set to published on the 23rd of September this year, and um, this is the download address where where all of the the existing CWAs can be downloaded. I've checked it yesterday. It is uh, still not on the web page, but um, it is expected in, in in the next days. So this is the the formal um, way of of creating. Um, um, such a uh, such a uh, uh, send workshop agreement and yeah now what's 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 in um, so uh, um, title first is, it is um, about anaerobic digestion plans feasibility assessment methodology for integrating a volatile fatty acid platform technology so um, these are the the chapters you can you can find in in the in the in the agreement, um, um, there is a, a standard forward and a short introduction. The scope is necessary um, to say for, for in, uh, what are the the the, the, the frame borders of, of of this agreement. Um, yeah, normative reference and terms of and definitions is, is in principle also clear, like symbols and abbreviations. So um, I will discuss discuss in the next few minutes about the the main chapters of the CWA and this is um, the intention and drivers for establishing a, a VFAP technology and the identification and description of framework to be considered and last but not least the met assessment methodology methodology we we have um, uh, documented there so um, the intention and and drivers um, for establishing such a technology can be divided in ecologic drivers, social drivers, as well as economic drivers. And um, we have uh, discussed that in 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 more detail um, in in uh, regarding the ecological drivers, so, so that uh, there's no resource conflict and. Um, that that uh, bio-based chemical platforms can be produced from the waste streams and that there's no negative impact on climate and biodiversity. Yeah, and air, soil and water pollution uh, pollutions are um, avoided. Um, um, from the uh, social drivers, um, it is uh, uh, in, in principle what is about the European circular economy strategy that it demands to avoid all waste. So me meaning that waste uh, in the waste hierarchy, recycling um, is 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 an, 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 uh, an one of the, f the five 
topics. It is not the topmost, but it is it is an important one. You got it, this from Adelheid this morning. Um, and um, there's also a revised waste legislative framework as you got from this morning. So meaning that uh, a lot of um, um, waste has to be uh, avoided and also and in, in this regard one option is uh, to recycle it. Um, yeah, from the economic drivers, there is there is a need um, to to raise the share of bio-based chemicals uh, from 10% to 25%. This is is mentioned in the especially in the in the BBI strategic innovation and research agenda, and it is is necessary to use sustainable resources for these bio-based commodities, and then uh, waste is is in the first place for that. Um, yeah, and uh, uh, very strong economic drivers, as you got this this morning already, is that we need new businesses um, for biogas plants. So um, not only producing a biogas because this kind of energy is is hard to sell and and it's it's, it's economic not feasible without subsidies, and so there is a, there is a need for for new value chains for for biogas producers. Coming to the um, to the framework identification and description of framework to be considered, um, there are uh, these are divided in these are divided in non-technological aspects and and uh, technical aspects. So um, um, we ha we have discussed arguments in, in favor of a VFA platform. This this means um, that there are, uh, as I said before. Uh, economic reasons, but also there could be reasons for image improvement um, to, to, to install such a VFP, um, VFAP. Um, there is a, a long section of, of multi-criteria decision-making tool based on non-technical criteria, and there were identified 15 criteria in six contextual dimension. Um, from this sheet, maybe you get a short impression of what we have done. You can see that the criterions, um, the, the, the criteria, uh, the dimensions are, are external and internal factors regarding the process. And, and uh, the criterions here are common um, uh, criteria for, um, for assessment. Um, and you can see that you can uh, only you, you need to know from, from this figure here is that, that certain uh, criteria belongs to, to many of these uh, dimensions. And all of these criterions and dimensions are discussed in detail in, in the CWA. So um, then the political and regulatory context was mentioned, meaning this is what uh, you, you got in this morning from Adelheid more or less. So um, um, the non-technical aspects are, are completed um, by, by this regulatory context. And um, then there was an, uh, we, we, we have a an, 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 uh, section on the technical aspects, and this is uh, something like a multi-criteria decision-making guide based on, on all of these uh, technical criteria. So we, we had a strong look on the raw materials, um, meaning the substrate quality and quantity, and also on, on substrate categories um, for the anaerobic digestions. Um, the substrate categories, um, you, you got, uh, in the morning, in the first uh, um, talk from Thais, uh, uh, which substrates uh, we were looking for, and um, I have just uh, one example here on the um, on the on the substrate quality. So um, these are the five criteria for substrate quality regarding anaerobic degradability and heavy metal content, organic pollutant content, physical impurities. Uh, and uh, variability, and all of these criteria um, um, got some some uh, um, 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 uh, yeah in enumeration and uh, or how how to say huh? I missed the word <laughs> I'm sorry so, so but we, we get criteria criteria um, um, for 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 all of these. Um, 
uh, uh, sub criteria for all of these these topics, and and we, we added an, an an traffic light system to that that one can see if this is a, a, a critical criteria or or even not. Oh, hard to say. Okay, um, then we had um, uh, also. Uh, um, a section on the impact of an on current anaerobic digestion plan so this this is the section um, where a an, an, uh, decision can be made for already existent biogas plant to be upgraded to a uh, order to install an vfap if if, if is it worth and and so um, we we had a section on which which uh, criteria um, uh, have to be regarded in in that, um, and also the this is in the next section available VFA uh, conversion technology means um, which kind of equipment is already on site. So uh, regarding pre and and post um, treatment uh, of the of the substrate, for example, and uh, so all of and, and which uh, um, uh, equipment can in principle used. Um, um, uh, when running in VFAP as well. And um, yeah, and the last section in this technical area is um, the application of produced VFA. And we have we have checked for, for more um, than only um, the PHA and the SCO and the omega drive uh, omega free fatty acids. So so um, there was a short discussion of direct application of the of the volatile fatty acids and what what can be done with mid chain fatty acids and and this is microbial protein uh, as as a, as, a, as a, another subset also also worth to 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 mention here. Okay, so this is a, a, a very long section of. E non-technical and technical aspects and um, most of, of, of these criteria and, and uh, recommendations made here uh, uh, were in, included in this web-based decision support tool which will be introduced later on. Uh, it is, it is, you, you can reach it um, via the, the project page of Volatile or directly uh, at ODAI. Good and and the the last section here um, is is about assessment the entire assessment methodology, methodology. Um, the assessment to determine if the integration of such a technology into a biogas plant is economically viable as well as environmentally sound and the subsections here are the SWOT analysis and uh, the the life cycle assessment and the cost analysis and, and, and some kind of process and modeling. Um, so in, in principle, the SWOT analysis is, is um, fact-based, meaning um, um, it, is, it is taken from, from another deliverable. It will be introduced afterwards um, that the SWOT analysis on, on uh, municipal waste collection systems and on anaerobic digestion technology uh, and the VFAP technology. Um, the life cycle assessment is a description on the methodology how how uh, con is, a, is a life cycle assessment that has to be conducted. Uh, the cost analysis is just an, not just it is an overview on all of these many 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 cost components and uh, calculations methods uh, which are necessary for for such a, a feasibility study. And um, in the in the modeling, it means it is some kind of evaluation, uh, multidimensional on the bio waste type and availability versus maybe the distance of treatment location, and also with regard to alternative processes, which can be done with the um, with the um, uh, with the municipal waste. Yeah. Okay. So this is all what's what's in uh, in the CWA. And uh, yeah, the agreement is is done. It is published, and now Christian will take over and tell us uh, CWA. Yeah, and now yeah, Christian, yeah. please. Th thank you, Jochen. <laughs> yeah, okay, and and now yeah, I will take uh, over the the second, let's say, a small part of this presentation. Um, and yeah, if you like, I can share my screen. Um, I don't have any button to share it. Okay, perfect. 
it was it was me. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I tried to mute, but it is uh, sense. Can you to share now, uh, Christian? I made you now that you can share. Okay, perfect. No, no, it's okay. Um, I have it here, so so I can please please just move, say move on, and that's okay. Uh, oh, uh, I'm I'm just trying to share my screen. Okay, but I think okay. you can see it. Uh, can you see now a, a green arrow? Yeah, I can see okay. it. Yeah. Okay, perfect, good. So this works. Um, okay, so um, okay. Now I, I will tell you uh, about the next steps. Um, so the CWA is now formally published, um, and uh, as the next step, uh, Dean will send the CWA to relevant technical committees so that they they are aware of the final document, and. Um, yeah, you can see here the life cycle of such a CWA. Um, so for, for full standards, let's say it's common that they are um, checked every five years. So even if a full standard is, uh, doesn't, yeah, hasn't changed for 50 years, um, the responsible technical committee um, has to check the standard every five year, years um, if there's something to change or to update. And the CWA has this step once after three years. Um, here uh, we will come back to the experts in the workshop and uh, we will ask you if an update if needed and if not um, the CWA is extended for another three years and after this it's set to historic because it's a kind of a um, test standard uh, which is quick to establish but which has an end of life and now you you could ask okay um what, what can we do else um regarding the end of life and oh i can ah okay it works um and uh, one option you have is um to propose a new standard um so that you yeah propose to to take all of the CWA or part of it into a full standard, such as an EN standard or ISO standard. And um, yeah, so so one yeah one word to the standardization principle. So you have, um, a, for example, a technical committee at CEN, and um, this technical committee is composed of experts from national committees. So they send one expert to the European Committee. Um, and this table here stands for, um, yeah, you can see it's from Germany or Belgium, but it stands um, yeah, for, for the committee in each European um, nation. And um, what you can do is you take your CWA and approach one of these mirror committees and um, ask them if they might be interested and if you could maybe um, to a presentation about this CWA. And um, for this, you have to find out which committee is the most relevant. And uh, what, what we can see so far is on the international level, where ISO, IEC, and ITU um, are the standards bodies um, or standardization organizations. Um, it's the TC for biogas, the TC for sustainable finance, and the one for environmental management. Um, and here there are some subcommittees. Um, one is about green finance, and one working group is about investments, financing, and climate change. So they would fit best on the international level and on the European level. Uh, best fitting TCs, let's say, would be characterization of waste and sustainability produced biomass for energy applications. So now you know the committees on international and European level, and uh, we have to, uh, let's say, get a feeling um, what, what standards are these committees responsible for, what is their work, and uh, you can check this out, for example, at the ISO, um, um, ISO platform, and you can see that the biogas um, TC, um, deals with biogas production um, and, and yeah, safety and biogas systems. Um, the sustainable finance, for example, 
deals with frameworks for sustainable finance. Um, here is a very, um, let's say, a broad uh, overview, I guess. Um, so the basic principles. Um, and if, if you got a feeling about which committee would fit best, um, you search, you go to the national standards body, in my case, it's Steen, and search for the mirror committees, which you can also do uh, on the website. And uh, if you click through through the um, subcommittees and mirror committees, um, you can see that the best fitting one would be this one about sustainable and green finance and investments. And my suggestion would be uh, that I um, establish the link um, for uh, someone from from your project and the uh, project manager from this mirror committee. And then um, we ask them um, if you could present the CWA to them and then they can um, express if they may be interested to take some part of it uh, maybe into a European or international standard. Um, and uh, here is, there was some, uh, I will just search here. Okay, um, the next step would be, if they agree and find it interesting, um, then they will set up a proposal for a new standard and you need a voting phase where at least five countries commit for active participation. Um, so this ensures that only um, yeah, topics are, let's say, go, go to the, um yeah, work plan or where the people are really committing um so that the projects uh, really really have some momentum okay and um but for now you have a cwa um it was well discussed um and we have a full consent of all different partners which participated we had a transparent process and it's now publicly available and it was um yeah, it was was really nice to guide you through this process and i really loved um working together with you and i'm sure or i believe that this document will help you um to do a step towards a circular economy and maybe um, you can also put some parts of the cwa or the whole um, into a full standard and um, this would be the next step to check out um, if this could be possible. And yeah, with this slide, I would like to thank you and uh, give the word back to Jochen. Oh, no, no, not, not to me, time is over. <laughs> okay, then, <laughs> then Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to me, okay. Uh, okay, thank you very much, Jochen, Christian. Christian, thank you very much also for this. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I didn't know that uh, this is possible then like this to go further to a standard in this way. Thanks, thanks a lot. M maybe also we should discuss on that, Jochen, if you agree also on that. Um, uh, I think that's it's a very interesting uh, uh, possibility. Um, are there any questions uh, for for the for Jochen and Christian? I'm just waiting if somebody is writing or I have it open, but uh, looks like not. Um, anyway, as I said before, as a, you have the contact data, they were shown. So uh, if you have their further uh, questions, we can I will forward them and that we can answer them. Uh, Thank you very much again, Jochen, and especially Christian, also for helping us to bring this CVA uh, to, a, to a good end and for helping us to, to draft it and, and, and everything. So you know, hopefully we will can get one step further to, to a standard or part of it could be reused for, for a standard. Okay, thank, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. And then we will go now to the next presentation. Here we are speaking about the uh, environment, the impact of the bioeconomy, because not everything what is bio um, is also, yeah, let's say, bio as a environmentally um, friendly. 